The Princess with the Golden Magical Hair Chapter 1 The Secret Tower In the kingdom of Elysian, hidden amidst the cloudy azure sky, stood a tower so tall that its top almost touched the stars. The tower, covered in winding ivy and shimmering frost, was home to Princess Lysandra with the golden, magical hair. Her hair was so long that it swirled around the base of the tower like a golden river. It was said that her hair had the power to heal illnesses and bring good fortune. Lysandra lived alone, guarded by a wise owl named Oracle, who could speak the language of humans. The tower was surrounded by a labyrinth and garden, filled with talking flowers and shimmering butterflies. Her days were spent in the beauty of the garden, where she spoke to the flowers and learned their wisdom. Chapter 2 The Mysterious Mirror One day, while Lysandra was exploring a hidden room in the tower, she discovered an ancient mirror. The mirror's frame was adorned with mystical symbols, and inside the mirror, sparkling lights danced. When she touched the mirror, it whispered secrets from distant lands and times. The magic of the mirror lay in its ability to show events from both the past and the future. With the help of the mirror, Lysandra discovered a hidden power within herself. She learned that her hair could change colors and shapes at her will, opening up a world of possibilities. She spent hours in front of the mirror, experimenting with her magic and weaving light and shadows into her hair. Chapter 3 Midnight in the Forbidden Forest One night, Lysandra was drawn by a mysterious melody from the forbidden forest that surrounded the tower. The forest was known for its magical creatures and enchanted paths. As she wandered, her hair illuminated the way with a soft, golden glow. In the depths of the forest, she encountered a pack of moonlight wolves, beautiful creatures with fur that shimmered like falling stars. They were friendly and shared the secrets of the forest, teaching Lysandra about the balance of the forest and the language of nature. Lysandra spent the night in the forest, listening to the stories of the moonlight wolves and learning their ancient songs. Chapter 4 The Whispering Wind After her night in the forbidden forest, as Lysandra was returning to the tower, she heard a soft whisper seemingly coming from the wind. She followed the sound and found an old, venerable oak tree. The oak spoke to her with a voice as ancient as time itself, telling her about the ancient secrets of the forest and the importance of living in harmony with nature. The oak taught Lysandra an ancient song that could call upon the wind to carry messages over great distances. With this new knowledge, Lysandra felt even more connected to her kingdom and its inhabitants. She used the song to send comforting messages to those who lived in distant parts of the kingdom, spreading hope and joy. Chapter 5 The Lost Melody Deeper into the forest, she found an old, abandoned harp. Its strings were dusty, but when she touched them, an enchanting melody filled the air. The harp was magical and could play sad, joyful, and hopeful tones that could affect the world around. Lysandra used the harp's melody to heal a sick tree and awaken a sleeping fairy. Grateful for her rescue, the fairy gave the princess a crystal that could summon the creatures of the forest in times of need. 
The fairy also spoke of an old legend that said the harp once belonged to a powerful sorceress who used it to maintain peace in the forest. Lysandra felt a deep connection to the harp and brought it back to the tower with her. Chapter 6 The Council of Stars As evening approached, Lysandra sat in a clear meadow and observed the starry sky. Suddenly, the stars began to speak to her. They showed her images of her kingdom's past and its future. The stars warned her of an imminent danger threatening her kingdom. They told her about a dark sorcerer planning to steal her magical hair to sell chaos. Lysandra listened carefully and decided to prepare to defend her kingdom. She spent days and nights practicing her magic and sought advice from Oracle, the Wise Owl. Together, they explored ancient books and spells to strengthen their defenses. Chapter 7 The Secret of Shadows Before she met Sir Cedric, Lysandra encountered a mysterious figure hidden in the shadows. This shadowy figure, who turned out to be a kind-hearted sorceress named Alara, offered Lysandra further insights into the world of magic. Alara taught Lysandra how to use shadows to see things hidden from the naked eye and how to understand deeper truths. Alara proved to be a valuable ally. She gave Lysandra an amulet that could protect her from dark magic. This amulet would prove invaluable in the battle against the sorcerer. Through this friendship, Lysandra learned the importance of looking beyond the surface and finding light even in darkness. Chapter 8 The Brave Knight Lysandra knew that she needed help to stop the sorcerer. That's when a courageous knight named Sir Cedric appeared. He had heard of the princess and her magical hair and had come to offer his protection. Sir Cedric, clad in shining armor and wielding a sword that gleamed like moonlight, had a noble heart and was known for his bravery. Together, they planned to confront the sorcerer. Lysandra taught Sir Cedric about the power of her hair and how they could use it as a tool rather than a weapon. They trained together and their friendship grew stronger with each passing day. Sir Cedric also shared his own background and his vow to protect the innocent. Chapter 9 The Final Dance of Magic The day of the confrontation arrived. The sorcerer, dressed in dark robes and with eyes burning with greed, awaited at the kingdom's borders. Lysandra and Sir Cedric faced him with courage and cunning. In the heat of battle, Lysandra used her hair to reflect the sunlight and blind the sorcerer. Sir Cedric seized this opportunity to disarm him. Instead of harming the sorcerer, they used the harp's melody to transform his heart, so he understood the power of love and friendship. The kingdom was saved, and the sorcerer, now free from his own darkness, promised to use his magic to help others. Lysandra and Sir Cedric were celebrated as heroes, and their adventures became legends throughout the land. Lysandra's hair became a symbol of hope and courage, and her story continued to inspire generations. <laughs>